everybody this is Brandon and I'm back um, this is just a comparison video because before I bought mine I couldn't find any other videos online that anybody like compared the pistons or rods outside of the car like people talk about putting them in and running them that kind of thing but I really wanted to see how they looked so I figured I'd make the video um, and if you had any questions or anything you can just put them down in the comments below but uh, yeah so I'll cut over to those and um, I'm going to try to find the links and put them down in the description, but I got them off eBay. They're pretty much the cheapest, reputable thing I could find that will work. So, yeah. Alright, as I was talking about, this is um, these are the aftermarket rods that I got online. They're technically no-name brand. I got them off of eBay. Um, if I can find the link again, or at least the seller, I'll put that down in the description. But these are pretty heavy-duty uh, I beam style rods um, and if you compare them to the the stock rod let me see here like side by side um, it's easily maybe like double Let's see if I can hold it up actually let me put it behind it let me line it up yeah but anyway yeah, so they're definitely thicker than the stock rods. And another big, big reason why people want to upgrade rods when they're going up over 300 horsepower is right here. The stock, um, the stock rod bolts like to come apart. Some people say 300, some people say 350. Um, it just always depends. So a lot of people will actually drill these out and put ARPs in or take the stock ones out. Alright, and these rods already came with a set of bolts in them, but they were doing a special, and along with the special, let me see if I can get this to focus, it comes with a set of uh, ARP, yeah, ARP8740 rod bolts to go, so I'll pop these out because these are just, these are, I don't know, just regular old bolts, I'll pop those out and I'll put the full set of ARP rod bolts in there. And those are supposed to hold up to a lot more power than the stock ones, or even, you know, these ones. Alright, now this isn't a great comparison, because these pistons weren't in my stock motor. These pistons actually came out of the uh, block that I'm putting together now. And from what I've looked up online, these are a set of, like, aftermarket cast um, replacement pistons. So, like, they're nothing special. Um, they're not turbo pistons or anything like that they're not good for high horsepower so that's why I didn't decide to go back with them and I'm doing a new set of pistons but um like they're not high compression um, really nothing special but just as a comparison the pistons that I'm putting in it are the nippon pistons with the coated top whereas these aren't coated it's supposed to help with detonation how much it really does I'm not sure and also it's definitely a different color I don't know what the casting is. It said it, it they use a different casting to help for turbo applications or nitrous applications. So um, yeah, so that's just the uh, the comparison. This, the Ringland size are honestly about the same because a lot of people are like, oh, you know, does it have big Ringlands or not? So they're, I mean, here's a good up close look at it. So yep, there you go. But um, this is the this is the setup that I'm going to be using. So the Nippon Turbo Pistons, which online right now, I got them as the full float set. So they come with the C-clips and stuff. And for aftermarket rods, um, these were, I believe it was 220 and then the rods were 170 And I bought all this on eBay. So whole bottom end for under 400 bucks. And hopefully just to start off to make 300 horsepower, it should be like way overkill. This should hold 300, no problems. Actually, I, I was just looking, and it looks like uh, there's another YouTuber, um, Sketchy DA. Uh, you could probably go check out his channel. I watch all his stuff, but he's got a B18, and I believe these are the same pistons he's running, and he's made consistently over 500 horsepower on them. Uh, online on their website, it says supports 450, but you know, I, I'm, it's always nice to see somebody actually putting it to the test. But uh, so. Thanks for watching guys and 
Um, sorry there's not any more content this week. It's been really nasty and rainy outside, so we got the motor all apart from the last video, and I'm just now waiting for a little bit of help. I'm going to measure out the clearances on the bearings. I think we're going to, um, what James said, we're going to plastic gauge them. I think that's what it's called, plastic gauge. So I'll be doing a little bit of video of that because I've never done it before, and I thought it'd be interesting to show some other people. So, yeah, well, thanks for watching, guys, and this is Brandon with Motor Nubs. Oh, and uh, also, I had a couple people ask me. It looks like the website, for some reason, went down a couple days ago, but it is back up now. So it's www.motornubs.com. That's where it's got some stickers and some shirts. I think the only thing we have left are white stickers and then the, um, the black shirts with the red box logo. So, yeah, you can grab some of those. It's all free shipping right now. I just try to build it into the price on everything because I hate having to go and you know oh that's a good deal and you get to check out and then you gotta add shipping to it it's kinda like why don't you tell me in the beginning but for right now only shipping inside the US sorry for people overseas um, you can email me directly motornubs at gmail.com and we can work something out I've sent a couple things to Australia it just it gets really expensive depending on where you're at so yeah so <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, green light, green light. Right.